Welcome back to third episode of AI Tutorials by Focuses and I'm really glad that you didn't left over just after two tutorials. So if this series is helping you guys or not just let me know in the comments below okay. I just want you guys to be more engaged. So anyway in the previous video we saw four approaches of AI very quickly but in this video we'll be seeing all of these four approaches in detail. So let's get started. So the first point we have here is acting rationally which is also known as the rational agent approach. So first of all, we need to know what is rational and what is agent. Well, rational means behaving rightly and capable of reasoning. Whereas agent is just something that acts. But the computer agent we are talking here are expected to have more attribute than just a program. Other attributes can be perceiving their environment, adapting to change, being able to reach the goal, and so on. Don't worry, fourth video is all about agent, so we will learn it in even more detail in that video. But for now, we just need to know, rational agent is the one that acts to achieve the best outcome. But if there is any uncertainty, then the best expected output is achieved. And our machine should also behave rightly and keep the optimal solution. So now let's see the conclusion of the rational agent approach. So our AI machine or computer to act rationally should behave in the right manner and give us the maximum performance with optimal solution. So in number second we have thinking rationally, it is also called laws of thought approach. Here thinking rationally basically means right thinking, that is undeniable or irrefutable reasoning process. Let me give you a quick example so that it will be clear for you guys. Let's say Tim is a man, all men are mortal, therefore we can say that Tim is also a mortal. These are the laws and these were supposed to govern the operations in mind. So this laws of thought led to the new field which is also called logic. So what we do here in thinking rationally is we use this logic and different set of rules to achieve right thinking. But to make our machine think rationally there are two major obstacles. So first one is it should have 100% knowledge. Hence more rules should be defined. So too many computations should be done. Hence it is more complex. So that's our obstacle one. So another obstacle is that it is very harder to solve the problem in real life than in the theory. That was our two obstacles to make our machine think rationally. So now let's see the conclusion of thinking rationally. So we can conclude that for machine to think rationally, it should think in the right way, that is right thinking. And it should also have different logics and set of rules to reach the goal. But we have two major obstacles, uh, which is being complex and harder to do practical than in theory. So moving into the third point, we have acting humanly, which is also called Turing test approach. Here what it means is our machine should act like a human. So when do we know our machine acts like a human? Well, that's what it comes in Turing test. So let's see it. So Turing test was proposed by English mathematician called Alan Turing in 1950. Instead of giving long, complex and controversial definition of AI, what he basically said was if any machine passes the Turing test, then it will have intelligence. So let me explain what Turing test really said. So here we have a human interrogator, human and machine. Interrogator cannot see human and machine since they are divided. Now interrogator gives some questions to both human and machine and gets the response from both. Remember all the questions and answers will be in the written format. Now if the interrogator cannot tell whether the written response came from the person or a machine, then we can say that the machine passed the Turing test. So the machine or computer need to possess four capabilities to pass the Turing test. So let's see it. So first capability is natural language processing. It basically means our machine should be able to communicate successfully in English. So the second capability is knowledge representation. It means our machine should store what it knows or hears. In normal thought, we have machine learning. It means our machine should adapt to the new circumstances and to detect and extrapolate the patterns. So lastly, we have automated reasoning. It basically means our machine needs to use the stored information to answer to the question and draw the new conclusion. So that basically concludes acting humanly, which is also called the Turing test approach. So here we need to explain what is Turing test and these four capabilities to pass the Turing test. So now we'll move to the fourth point, which is thinking humanly. It is also called cognitive modeling approach. Here our machine should be able to think like a human brain and cognitive modeling approach involve cognitive science way. So what is cognitive science? Well cognitive science is the study of human thought, process and how does human brains actually work. 
how human brain takes the information from surrounding as input, stores it, and process it then gives the output according to the situation. That's what we study in cognitive science. But in AI, we try to copy that thought process we studied in cognitive science to the machine. But are we successful? Can our machine think like human? Well, the answer is still no, since we are not able to figure out how our brain actually works, because it's too complicated. So there is huge gap between human brain and implementing it into the computer system. So now let's see the conclusion of thinking humanly. So to make our machine or computer system to think humanly, first of all we need to know the concept of cognitive science. Then we need to apply it to our machine. But the problem is we still don't know how human brains work. So there lies the huge gap between human brain and a machine. So that basically concludes our video. We'll be seeing all about agent in the next video. So see you guys there. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, happy learning. Goodbye everybody.